Hey guys, Scott here from Red Rock Maintenance. So today we are going out to cut lawns. It's Wednesday. I'm very, very tired. Uh, yesterday I took a day off and went down to Toronto for the Canadian National Exhibition. Uh, so we were walking around all day, looking at everything down there. My feet are absolutely pounding me. They're very sore and tired. So uh, this is gonna be a long day. We've got a lot of lawns to cut today, uh, but we've got four of us, which will make it easier. I uh, looked at the weather report for tomorrow. It says it's supposed to be 15 to 20 millimeters of rain. Um, a 40% chance, which hopefully that means we're not going to get it. Uh, but if it does rain that much, we are in trouble because uh, we've got about 15 lawns to cut and they're all our big lawns tomorrow. So I'm going to try and get some, or get some uh, lawns today on video and see what happens. If you haven't done so already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. So this is a new lawn we picked up this year. We didn't actually pick it up until about August, I believe it was. So we've cut it twice already. Um, it's actually a pretty big lawn. It uh, takes two of us on the walkers, I think about 45 minutes to cut, I think. Uh, I'll have to recheck my timing on that, but I'll update you on that. Um, I did underprice it though. I thought it was gonna be a pretty easy, quick lawn to do. I did charge it $100 for it. Um, my goal this year is to try and get um, as many lawns in the $100 range as possible. Uh, that way I will be able to have a better um, lawns and uh, not and weed, weed out all the all the lawns I don't want. So saying that, I probably should have uh, priced this one at about $125. Uh, so I'm a little off, but anyways, it's not too bad. It's only about 10 minutes from my house, which is nice. Um, it is a little bit hard to cut though, because as you see, all the trees that are there, uh, there's lots of going around these trees and bushes and whatnot, so it does take a little bit extra time to cut those uh, to cut that kind of stuff. Uh, but other than that, it's not too bad at lawn. Um, you can see all the fog out there. It was a pretty foggy morning when we were doing this. But anyways, guys, yeah, this is a new lawn, like I said. Uh, the bees just cut in very well. Uh, the other guy is over on the other side of the property using the T25i and mowing that part. And the two other guys are trimming the lawns uh, around all the bushes and whatnot. So uh, that's all I can say about this lawn. It's uh, not, you know, not too bad. Um, it is a bi-weekly lawn, so we aren't cutting it every week. It did not grow that much since we cut it the first time. Uh, I'm hoping when we go back this week to cut it, it will be a bit longer as we had a lot of rain. Uh, and the grass is back growing like crazy right now, so this lawn may be a little bit longer, but we will see when we get there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the channel, subscribe the channel, and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you uh, uh, want to see anything specific in my videos. Uh, I try to uh, do as much as I can, but it's kind of hard to go around the property and talk while I'm there just because I've got employees and um we're got a really tight schedule and we just need to get all the lawns done so i usually just set my uh, tripod up somewhere the gopro on and just uh get these angles so uh, i hope you guys enjoy it Alrighty, guys enjoy the video
Thank you.